and we'll get to that in a second. But I started out working as a broker, and back then it was great because uh, 21 years old, to come in, you take the Series 7, it literally took two weeks to study and pass it, and then they hand you, uh, back then they handed you, at least in the, in, in the commodity division EF Hutton, this uh, gave me a book on technical analysis, technical analysis of stock trends by McGee and Edwards. He told me, read that. I read it. Go home, read it again. I read it. Go home, read it again. I read it. He goes, you're ready to trade. You're ready to open accounts. So uh, I'd say within four weeks, I was trying to talk my parents' friends into opening accounts and let me trade. Uh, and at 21, it was it was literally hilarious. Um, but that's how I started. And then ultimately, as I started trading these accounts, uh, the guy that I worked for that originally hired me was the greatest spe cotton speculator uh, in the world. His name was Eli Tull, so he'd sent me to New York City. Uh, I, I guess I was up here for six months working on the floor. Uh, then I went back to New Orleans. That's another long story. Came back to New York, uh, and, and during that period of time, I, I enjoyed so much the interaction with all my customers. I really, really, I've always been, I think, a sociable person, so I enjoyed that so much that we were making money and talking to them all the time. But then after a while, I realized I could do so much better if I just trade for myself because the commissions back then were in this is going to make you really excited. We're ninety dollars a contract. Can you it's imagine great. that? No. And what is it now? Is it we could trade forty thousand for ninety dollars yes, today. Yes, exactly. So it's ninety dollars a contract, and I realized I could go trade for myself and clear. I think even then, clearing was still thirty or forty cents a contract, and just do. And I and I started doing that for myself, uh, and I did really, really. So really, you were successful from the start. Pretty much. You know, I had, <laughs> I had. I had two phenomenal learning periods where I lost everything. Like I had $10,000 and went down to zero. And then I made back like $20,000 and then went down to zero. Uh, and I remember... Are you just using these low numbers so we can understand? No, no, no. This is when you're 22 years of age and it's 1978 or 9. That's just, you know, a gargantuan amount of money. And I remember my father coming to me uh, on the third time uh, and said you've got to get in something safe like real estate. Exactly. Uh, Lyndon. I said, no, I, I'm going to stick with this. Uh, and the rest is history. But I, I guess the point was, it was so funny. I, was, I guess by 1980, I was doing pretty well. And in 1980, I thought my father kept going, you've got to do something respectable. So I applied to Harvard Business School and uh, got in. Uh, and I was thinking, okay, I'm going to go up there, and what is this place going to teach me? That I, I mean, I was already doing, I was probably making a couple of million bucks a year trading my own account, which was a fortune back then. And the weekend before I was supposed to go, I was loading up the U-Haul to drive to Boston and just said, ah, this is crazy. They're not going to teach me anything about this, and this may disappear. And so I never went uh, and continued trading. So but that. I started my hedge fund. You get back to the point. I enjoy I'm, the one thing about trading for yourself. I got so lonely. I really did. I was doing real well, but I was so lonely. And back then, the kind of exchange closed at three. I'd go home at. I'd do all my charts and stuff. Go home at four thirty. Watch Star Trek, and that was kind of that was kind of my life. It was not.